And I mentioned this because of my interest in longevity, my long interest in, you know, life expectancy and looking at, you know, life expectancy between men and women. And you really see amongst like pretty much all mammal species that the females outlive the males. Obviously, there's a lot of differences going on there, but testosterone is also something that does, you know, differentiate. There's a big difference between the levels of testosterone between males and females. So I'm kind of curious. I know you you think about a lot of these things, and so I'm curious what your thoughts are with respect to the trade-offs of testosterone with respect to longevity. I think... It would be highly speculative because obviously I would love to just point to some clear cut literature that says based on these studies on, you know, inhibiting IGF-1 or having really low uh, androgen levels equals lower body weights equals longer lifespan or something to that effect that could be a common kind of denominator, but it's not as cut and dry. I do think there is some level of metabolic... uh, resource demand that is needed to actually support the infrastructure of a male that is more intensive than a female. So I would, in general, like larger humans are going to die quicker than smaller ones, at least from what I've seen trend wise. And in supporting that, it is something that requires more hormone production in general, which is also more uh, intensive on all organ systems accordingly to actually facilitate and get that hormone production to the level it needs to to sustain that larger human. So that's a highly speculative take on it, but that would be part of the reason, 